Hi, welcome to another episode of MPT Outdoors. I'm your host, Glenn. And today, underneath my big old rain flight here, because it's supposed to rain tonight, is Pacific Northwest. It's supposed to rain every night, apparently. That's just the way it goes. Tonight, I'm going to be testing out my new keep myself warm in the night system. Okay? Now, many of you have seen um, another video that I've got where I go through the several different pads for different times of the season. I've got a short little blue one for the summer, a little bit bigger one for when it's in like in the fall or the spring. And then I've got my big old um, Reflectix um, uh, pad that I've got. And I really, really like it because I, I know a lot of people out there say, oh, Reflectix, no, it's no good. Don't bother using it. You're better off doing this, better off doing that, blah, blah, blah. And then there are some people who say, I use Reflectix all the time. I use it for my pod cozy. I use it under my uh, sleeping bag. I use it for this, this, that, and the other. It's miraculous material. I love it. So people kind of go back and forth with the, the whole Reflectix thing. I myself have found great success with Reflectix. It's, um, it's properties of keeping me warm um, and making sure I don't get that butt freeze. Excellent. Uh, I've, I've been able to go down to 19 degrees Fahrenheit um, in the snow and not freeze. I've been very, very satisfied with it. However, the system that I've got does have some issues. It crinkles a lot, it makes noise. Um, I do get some condensation sometimes as well. Not much, but just enough that I notice it in the morning when I'm packing up my sleeping bag. I was like, hey, this is damp, that's not good. Don't want that. Um, it's a little bit cumbersome to set up, getting into the hammock, right? The other thing, of course, is that I did put some uh, grip kind of material underneath it so it doesn't slide around so much, but it still slides around some, okay? And I don't quite get where I want to be all the time, right? So what I've done, I've come up with a system that I've seen other people have done something similar, those commercial versions you can get, where basically it's a sheath that you put your pad into and then you put the whole thing into your sleeping bag. So this is what I've done. This, and this is just version 1.0 of course, is a sheath that I made using some old nylon and some uh, cotton fabric my mom gave me. And I've sewn it together into this big old envelope. And my sewing skills are not the greatest. However, I, I do know how to use a powered um, thread injector, AKA sewing machine, well enough that I can put something together like this. Um, Really, it was more a matter of making sure I cut things out to the right size and then sewing it up than anything else. So basically then, what I've got, I've got my Reflectix inside this sheath. And then I just got some Velcro here just to close it over. And then this will go inside my sleeping bag, okay? So let me get it in there and... Uh... All right, so that's the top end. Velcroed right here. I'm wondering if maybe that's going to bother me in the night. I'm not sure. Well, we'll find out, won't we? But as you can see, it goes up pretty high, up almost up to the top of the head almost. And I've got it tucked way down in there, down by where my foot's going to be. Because I've only got the one foot that needs to stay warm in the night. But I do actually worry sometimes about my stump getting cold. So what I do sometimes is put a sock on there as well, on my stump. Now, as you can see, I can get it positioned. And because of the uh, Reflectix, I can give it kind of that diagonal lay right off the bat. So that's kind of convenient. All right, so that's how it looks. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend the night here and uh, give a report in the morning. And I'm not gonna be foolish about this. I, you know, I'm gonna bring a, an extra blanket or a down comforter or something with me just in case, because you never know. All right, so goodbye for now. See you in the morning. Best of luck to me. Well, good morning. My experiment with the uh, bag, the, the Reflectix in the sheath inside the sleeping bag wasn't a 100% success, wasn't a complete failure either. One of the things I did notice was that the idea being that if I'm in my sleeping bag and I'm laying inside of it, I can mo move around and the Reflectix in the sheath doesn't move, it just stays there and I just slide around on it. That wasn't a 100% effective. The sheath did move slightly and so as I rolled, one part, like a shoulder or a hip or a knee, would suddenly not be covered by the Reflectix. And I could tell that very, very quickly because the Reflectix was keeping me really, really warm. 
So I would kind of shift over a little bit and then I'd be okay. So it wasn't 100% effective there. The other thing is, because of the narrowness of the, uh, the mummy bag at the end there, the sheath and the reflectors kind of started to curve up like this. And a couple of times when I moved around, my foot would get on the outside of the reflectors instead of on the inside in that little valley that was forming. So again, I had to shift around to get my foot into that nice cozy little section between the two pieces of uh, bent up reflectors. So it worked in many ways. It solved some of the problems that I'd had before but it didn't do the job that I needed to do to keep me nice and cozy warm 100%. Um, we're planning on doing an igloo um, camp out this uh, winter. We're planning on doing another uh, like a Klondike event out in the snow up in the mountains as well. And I do want to have something that's going to keep me nice and toasty warm when the temperature gets down to the low 20s or, or even lower. Okay? So I do have another idea that I'm going to try out that I got uh, as a suggestion from someone else. Like some social media guy mentioned this. So I'm going to check that out. And um, so in the meantime, though, I think I'm going to have to bag this idea. It's just bag. That wasn't a pun intended, really. Um, I'm going to have to you know, not use this idea. Because um, like I said, it's not 100% effective of, of keeping me warm all the way around all night long. All right? But it's always good to experiment with this kind of stuff. If you're a DIY kind of person, make your own gear kind of person, um, these experiments, I mean, you know, sometimes it's all the fun of doing camping, right? Just kind of trying out different ideas and see what works and what doesn't. All right, well, I think I'm done for the day, and so I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. Um, if you've got comments or questions or suggestions, put them down there. Um, I'd like to hear about them. I'd like to hear your ideas. They're very, very helpful to me, and I'm sure very, very helpful to others as well. Um, as always, subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. I hope to see you out on the trails, enjoying the winter, and um, staying warm and dry. Bye now.